Tyler Bray, Bray Rocco film on it. Yeah, let me get all close up. We're gonna do a nice close up of my face, my hair, my hair, my hairline. <laughs> yeah, my hair. I'm gonna have a lot of hair. I'm not a lot of hair, but I mean, I've always kept it short, but I've always kind of, you know, it's kind of, yeah. The only thing that's changed is the color. <laughs> but it's actually cool. I've never actually dyed my hair ever, and then this changes. So this is like the first time actually, like, ooh, look at that, natural. Na a natural dye. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. People, everybody else is like, I gotta dye my hair because I look like you're old. Because <laughs> you're old, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I love these 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 actors. Some of these actors of people like like fifty five, and then they like this is, and then they dye their hair and they go look at this is me at fifty five. It's like yeah, it's not really you did at fifty five. It's you with hair dye at fifty five. <laughs> you know this is how naturally age. And you see they got a little bit of they shave. You see this like gray stubble, but but it's like black hair on <laughs> top because they dyed their hair. It's like now I want to see you actually at 55. This is you at uh, trying to be look young at 55, my friend. <laughs> and I'm not even 50, I'm only 50, so you know I'm the same age as many other people. But don't Elon's older than me. Elon's what? 53. <laughs> He's 53. I'm 50. So Elon's like three years older than me. But he dies there. <laughs> yes, he does. And who else dies there? Nah, a lot of other people do. Uh, that guy plays Wolverine, he does his hair talking. He's the one I was talking about, he showed a picture of him, so he's fifty five apparently. <laughs> him and Jerry O'Connell, he's like Jerry O'Connell's like like my age. He dies his hair. <laughs> Sting's older than me, Sting's like what, twenty years older than me? <laughs> yep. And uh and he dies his hair. <laughs> Sting's like seventy, isn't he? Yeah. Something like that. And uh yeah, what else? Um, yeah. There's some people who stopped out there, and that's cool. I admire that. I do have this curl. This curl, I that girly curl. <laughs> Alright, this is just going to be like a super visual little thing where I'm just going to look at this me for the top of my head. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cool. Look at that cool. Look at that tangle. Close up. Uh, do I have any wrinkles like. Not really. See, the, the thing is, the, the, the secret to nice skin at 50 is keep this wash your face every day. <laughs> and don't go in the sun. <laughs> you know what happens when you go in the sun? It becomes like leather. Your skin becomes like leather. <laughs> I don't try to be in the sun. But I end up being in the sun because that's why I tan so quickly. Because I gotta do stuff. <laughs> it ends up being outside, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I stuck in the sun and I feel the sun on my skin. Every time I feel the sun on my face, it's like I can feel it burning my my, my face. People are like, let's go out in the sun, it's fun. <laughs> let's go do the sun tanning beds. <laughs> yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. There's my, my my hair. Yeah. Yeah, this is all a superficial video where I'm just being vain and showing off my my hair. My hair. And my hair. Yeah, uh, I, usually when I go, I put this like behind my ears, so it looks a little bit neater, you know. Like, so it's just too much hair, you know. Yeah, so then you know, and my eye. This this is the one that was pink. Well, actually, it was more like red, but in pink it was red. That well, looks better now. So a little bit better. Like about four days ago. It was like very not good. Yeah, that's about a week. It was like a week of yeah. It's better now though. And I'm talking very softly on the fourth of July twenty twenty four. From the side. See my nose. Yeah. I don't know my nose looks like my dad's a little bit. Not that. You only see people from the side too much for a long time. I know some people stay. 
people don't always stare at me from the side. Pretty I don't look as good from the side than I do from the front. You know, those people just unless I don't know, I'm trying to understand people here because they do look at me. They won't they don't all stare, but they, I'll have people long only look at me and then you know, it's kinda and then when you go, Why are you, you looking at me? Do you do I know you? You just keep looking at me and then they just keep looking at me and you're like, ah, okay. You know, yes so and then they think it's funny. But they're like, but no, but seriously, you're like thinking weird <laughs> <laughs> and you stop. <laughs> they just do they, they, they think they're charming, and people just want them to look. Because no people normally don't say anything. You know, people don't normally go stop. Will you cut it out? Like it. <laughs> so they just used to get away with it. And I'm like, oh, no, man, I wouldn't do that to you. Because if I do that to you, I would be like, a, I'm thinking of myself like a little jerk. You're an asshole. <laughs> you, you know, I'd be like, you're 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 in America now, so you feel you can just do you can just do whatever you want, right? <laughs> And then they feel about like, yep, because <laughs> people let me get away with it. <laughs> I know people, people get people get away with it, um, because you know people don't tend to want to get confrontational, and usually people like being like that sometimes because they don't really get looked at a lot. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it's always the ones who get looked at a lot. Kind of, kind of like, eh, I'm kind of tired of that. <laughs> yeah, it's a little old now. It's a little. I wrote that song called Stairs. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. I think if you look a certain way, people will stare at you. My, my friends say that people stare at me because I look different. Or they're trying to figure out what ethnicity I am. Or they're trying to figure out, oh, I look kind of weird because I'm, you know, I'm be, you know, but, yeah. you know and I got long hair and beard, so I look kind of very kind of alpha, and people just kind of kind of notice that, <laughs> or something. It's never just like. He just thinks you're hot. <laughs> he. I got women. I got I, people look at me all the time. Not just women, men, old men, young men, kids, everybody. <laughs> it's not just like a one thing thing. It's like a whole, you know, not everybody. Some most people. I'm like, and every time I see someone, I'm like, are they gonna stare at me? Oh, no, I'm not. Just, I'm like, oh, but they they didn't. So I'm gonna be like grateful for that. Oh, they didn't stare at me. I, 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 Oh, oh, see, instead of just like saying that that should be the status quo, and when people don't stare at you, you gotta be grateful. <laughs> you gotta be grateful that people are just kind of acting like you know, just going about their business. <laughs> it's a crazy world, man. We gotta like take take these little victories, like these little like mediocre victories. Yeah. Uh, I'm just doing this kind of thing on from, from the side. See, I always see myself from the side, so I'm gonna record it and watch myself from from the side because I always see that. Oh, since I'm talking about something. See, they should not firecrackers, but at least they're not being, it is the 4th of July, and they're not being as bad as they have been in the past. Years, I don't know, like a couple years ago, they were worse. They were like, yeah, so maybe they, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, so I'll, I'll be nice about it today, I guess. You see yourself from the side, and see yourself talking from the side. You go, with the long hair. You know, I don't know. Some guys don't look good with beards and long hair. They they just don't. <laughs> you know, you've seen some guys with long hair. They just look like weird. They look like guys with long hair. <laughs> you know, they don't look like pirates and kings and stuff. And some people do. I look like I look like good with long hair and a beard. I look like I should be a king and stuff. You know, I should be people like me be you know, kings and famous. You know, navigators on boats and stuff like Magellan and. Sir Francis Drake and Sir Walter Raleigh, or Raleigh, or whatever, <laughs> or who else? Henry the Navigator. <laughs> uh, I'm to, I used to know all the names of these explorers. Like, okay, Sir Walter Raleigh, um, Magellan, Vasco da Gama. He, he, he was South Africa. I think he came around the Cape. He was the first one to round the Cape of Good Hope. Dutch. Uh, I do believe, and that's why the Dutch got to be there. And they used Cape Town, where I was born, as a trading thing. So Cape Town, the, the town I was born in, is one of the oldest European settled towns in all of Africa. Because you know it was like there since like 1610 or something like that. They were using the, the first sailors were like going around the you know the bottom of Africa. They stopped there, and, they, and then they you know they refueled and stuff. So it was like there was a, yeah. So they decided to like make a permanent settlement there in like sixteen whatever forty eight something I don't know whatever. and the people and then you know you can actually get stuff there you grow stuff you can get 
food and fruit and stuff you needed for the trip, you know, to go to go further on in in over to India or Australia or wherever you're gonna go before the Suez Canal. See, yeah. See my guitar. It's my that's my um, Epiphone. Not a very expensive guitar, but you see me play it a lot. It's not, it's not a bad guitar, it's got, and it's electric. You can plug it in. I do have an amp for the. It's built-in re reverb and stuff. It's an Epiphone amp. So. Came with the guitar, <laughs> so you know the guitar wasn't that expensive because it's, it wasn't expensive like the package with the guitar. So nice though. Yeah, sounds good. It's, it actually sounds better when it's plugged in than uh, into the reverb into the amplifier or whatever it does. Yeah, it's very good. All right, so I'm just, I'm just trying to be nonchalant and just trying to be all, you know, like, yeah, hey, yeah, this is a person, you know, I'm not a bad guy. I'm a nice person. I think well of people, you know. Well, you know, what's the type of women I like? The type, the type of women I like. Mm, I like the witty, very witty. I like wit, not like uh, wit, smart, get things, understand me. If I say some kind of weird you know, pop culture reference, they they get it. Uh, you know what I hate is when women try to be lawyers and when you say something, then they gotta like try to like, no, you're wrong, this is, man. why would you say that? You know, it's kind of like, like they're like debating you <laughs> every time you talk to them. And instead of just saying, yeah, that's what I, that's how I am. If I say, if people say something and I don't agree with them, I just don't say, I don't agree with that. I go, yeah, yeah, I see that. But I see it, but I think, but then I say it the way I see it. Some people do that though, they kind of got to knock you down and then kind of say how they feel. That is the most annoying thing and those are the people if I don't, don't have friends. <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's very off-putting when, when people do that, especially like when women do. <laughs> Seem, you know, you'll say something and they just think they know better about the subject, but you don't. But they think they do because they think they're smart when they very kind of just, I don't know, it's like their whole kind of demeanor is just trying to challenge you or something some kind of weird instead of just having a conversation yeah and it's, that's why I hate those, those kind of women I hate <laughs> hate you know it's like you know it's like yeah be intelligent but don't try to try sound but, but don't be you know kind of condescending and be kind of egotistical about it you know just kind of be grateful that you're smart on it that you have intelligence but be a little bit humble about it and there's certain things that you don't have to be humble about, you know. But something like that when you're talking to people. <laughs> don't try <laughs> So, yeah. So those kind of women, I hate. Um, I like women who are kind. They aren't really mean. They don't try to be mean. Meanness is mean. It's like, you don't have to be mean. But there is... I don't know, you know. Sometimes I can be mean. But I mean because... I, someone else was mean first or something like that. Oh, I just kind of think these people have just not been very nice and it's not very cool and they're going to do this to someone else so I should head it off at the pass and try to just kind of go, what's wrong with you? Why, why you do that? You suck. <laughs> yeah. You know, I kind of think of something. But yeah, it's kind of you know, like, I guess, smart, talented, talented, yeah. We think that they should... I like women who feel that they need to work for things instead of just getting it easy you know some of these women who are like on the streamers a lot of them work hard and a lot of them feel like they have to work hard. I, I've seen that but they still you know they some of them have like degrees in like engineering and stuff and they went to college for that apparently but yet they just settled now for just for streaming <laughs> it's like didn't you have a dream of doing something else <laughs> what if streaming didn't exist what would you be doing <laughs> you know anything else I don't think there is anything else they want to do. So that's interesting though. You know what I mean? But the women who actually don't want to go and do what they were going to do originally without streaming, those are the women I admire. I have an admiration for that. You know, just want to be like real people in the real world, not internet matrix people. But yeah, but I like kind people. Women, physically, I like blondes. I tend to like blonde women. I don't know, I just find blonde hair very kind of sexy i just do i just i don't know why because i think when i was a kid I, the first women i ever found sexually attractive 
were blondes, probably like, you know what I mean? Like, um, Heather Thomas, Heather Locklear, Christy Brinkley, Terry Copley. You know, I was, you know, like 10, you know, it's been, I just saw, I was very, very appealing. <laughs> so now I think I still see that, you know, but I still like, I mean, I love brunettes, but the blondes are probably my favorite, I think. Blondes with a lot of personality, intelligence, and kindness. You know, that's probably what I like. <laughs>